we try to relax initially to go to the alpha state of mind, right? To, uh, you know, access our subconscious exactly. state of being. So uh, when in, in my initial days, when I started uh, practicing Silva method, it makes me uh, more and more, uh, you know, it makes me more and more struggle to, you know, be to that state of mind. When I was uh, sitting in a quiet position and I was uh, trying to be relaxed, then all other thoughts are coming and bugging into my mind. So initial days, and I'm pretty sure that uh, so many people have uh, faced this and facing this problem. So how you can address this problem? Like, for me, actually, it takes time. Uh, I practice a lot, lot. And then after that, it, 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 uh, you, you know, it doesn't interfere when I start meditating or when I start relaxing. But initial days, how you will guide these people? Please. Well, first of all, we have to be aware and conscious that we need to train ourselves in new skills. Yes, it's like riding the bicycle. You, when you sit on a bicycle, you don't start riding immediately because you don't have, you don't have all the data and all the the movements and everything. Yes, so that you can drive the bicycle. So the same thing is with uh, our mind control. It's our mind control. It's not controlling other other people's mind, other people's mind. It's controlling our our mind. Yes. So what I did at the beginning, because it it happens to everybody. And actually, one of the skills in meditation, in relaxation, is coming back to focus by relaxing. So when when my thoughts, they drift away, I have two options to become nervous. God, it happened again. Or to stay calm. And to say, cancel, cancel, come back to the focus. So this is what I did. And at the, at the beginning, the period of time when I can focus on one thing was, I don't know, short. And then it gets longer, long, gets longer and longer and longer. Then it becomes longer. You have control. But you have days where you are stressed out or whatever. Something unexpectedly uh, happened in your life. And you got stress, and then you go to, to relax, but your mind is drifting again away, your thoughts, actually. And you yes. start again, cancel, cancel, go, come back. So it's always by relaxing. Because why? Because when you get tensed and when you struggle, you will start producing beta brain waves, and you will go out of your relaxed state, out of alpha. So it's always relax, and I use, and I still use, even today, cancel, cancel, and come back. So it happens to me, especially when I go before night when I do my my meditation, my exercise, that you know sometimes I fall asleep and then I, my my thoughts they drift away, and I just come back, and I just come back. The idea is to stay to stay focused, uh, uh, and to understand that we have one belief that I'm sleeping if I don't know anything about myself. But I, I was I changed that perception that whenever I am in alpha, I am actually sleeping. The only difference is that I'm conscious, I'm aware. So I'm within, I'm not I'm in contact with myself and I'm already sleeping. And the idea is the last thought before drifting to sleep, into sleep. It's very important. It's one of the very important, not skills, but important thoughts, because that's the subject on which your brain and your mind will work for the next hours. And this is how you can start changing whatever you want in your subconscious mind. The last thought, besides all the techniques that we have, like mirror of the mind, yes, headache control, the free finger technique, and we have one of the greatest uh, techniques, which I love, is the laboratory and the counselors, where, where you use your imagination 
and you become limitless. Yes. I mean, yes. you're you're un not limitless, unlimited. I that's mean, that's an amazing thing, uh, Raiko. Okay, so uh, here comes my next question. Suppose somehow I have managed, or like people will manage to go to that alpha state of mind. Okay, and uh, then uh, you know we have uh, somehow eliminated our limiting beliefs. Okay, so before eliminating, as you told that, <laughs> as you told that our brain is already programmed in uh, some way. For example, from uh, our childhood, I ha we have listened to our parents that you know after a hard day they got headache, and uh, and I saw my father that uh, after a hard day he come back to home and he told that uh, yeah I got a severe headache and I want a cup of tea to get rid of that headache. So somehow this limiting belief has in my mind, yes, that after a hard day or after several meetings, I will get headache and there will be a cup of tea that can sure. help me to get rid of this headache, right? So how uh, initially, I think it will be uh, a bit difficult to uh, eliminate this limiting beliefs or this program that already set in our mind and reset new programs. So how we can uh, proceed in this, how we can reset the programs after being adult, like I'm 30. So after 30 years of my life, how I will reprogram uh, my brainwave states? Please, Raiko. Well, uh, I have a bad news. <laughs> it's a uh... Well, it's a it's long life. I mean, yeah. all all our life we will discover limiting beliefs. Uh, Jose Silva used to explain to us that somewhere by the age of fourteen, eighty five percent of all the programs that we will use in our life mm -hmm. they're already there, eighty five percent. And what latest research are showing is that. We are most programmable till the age of six, seven. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things we are like in a in a hypnotic state. The kids are in a they are like sponges. They absorb everything, and they do not have the rational mind to select whether this is good or not. It's coming from the outer world, from adults. It means it has to be good. So what I discovered, and I'm in my fifties. <laughs> is that it's a long-term job. But the beauty is that when you have a headache, I used to have a lot of headaches, is that this technique this, that, that, that Jose Silva created, which is called the headache control, it works not only on the headache, but it's de it deletes all the programs that created the headache. Okay. And even more, even more is that I do not have to know what program, what kind of programs they are. It's because of my parents, it's because of my neighbors or whatever, or because I want some more attention. Sometimes I, I created a headache because I want to avoid something or because I want some more, more attention instead of asking. So I learned one thing by eliminating headaches now if you want some attention you have to ask for it and it's beautiful you start communicating and this is how you change your patterns and you change your programs your programs in your mind so it's not only changing what you do in your subconscious but it's it's sustaining that in your beta beta, beta in your actions so acting accordingly to what are you programming in alpha state okay. so there is no end i'm sorry to 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 tell you that but there is, it's a never-ending story but it's a beautiful story because you always discover something more about yourself and yes. whenever you get to some limiting beliefs or fears or whatever and you, you work on them and you manage them, you are one step more up.